Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Globern and welcome to Go Grow Globern. So today we are going to be talking about my toy camera collection. I have recently managed to be able to arrange them and to actually have a home for them in my house because I just put them on the dining room table and the dining room table was just a mess. So I decided to buy a shelf for them so that they will have a home. And finally, my digital camera has a home because I've just been putting that on top of my dresser and yeah, it needs to have a home. And I have amassed, let me count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 more cameras in the past two months. <laughs> I have announced in one of my previous videos that Graham and I are going to be doing a cross country road trip so we're going to be traveling from perth which is like on the western side to canberra in the australian capital territory it's across the country so we're going there because graham's brother is getting married that's why there's been sporadic videos on my channel because we're saving up for that but then i have been doing a very bad job at it <laughs> Anyway, so I want to talk about my toy camera collection because as I was thinking of things to bring and how am I going to document this? I've been documenting most of my travels with my husband um, through vlogs and I actually haven't taken too much pictures. So, and then I was looking through my wedding photo album and I'm like, oh, this is so nice. No, 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 like scrolling through the photo album. And it just occurred to me that I really enjoy flipping through photo albums, like physical photo albums. And I miss that. Like, I don't have that. Like, I'm, yeah, I don't have that now that I'm married. And I'm like, that is so sad. I wanted to document this road trip with physical photos. So the first thought that came into my mind was actually buying an instant camera. And the one that I had in mind was the... Fujifilm Instax Wide 300. This was the camera that I wanted to get. But to get this new, you'd have to spend like $180 just for the camera. That does not include batteries nor film. So I was looking through Facebook Marketplace and Gumtree for secondhand ones and I found a couple but then was too late to get to them. But upon my search, I began seeing these ads for these little cameras that didn't that I have no idea about. And then they were marked as Lomography. So I began seeing this camera, which is a Lomography, if you can see at the bottom there. Eh? Lomography La Sardina camera. And the Lomography Diana mini camera. So I began seeing these cameras all over Facebook Marketplace and Gumtree. So um, I was curious, like, what are these cameras? They kind of look very funky. Like, what, what, what are they? So I decided to do my own research of the brand Lomography. Like, what is Lomography? Like, why do they have tons and tons of cameras? And why are people selling them? I can't describe Lomography by myself. So I'm gonna have a look at one of the books that came with 
the camera. So this is the Diana Mini and this is the Diana Mini book that you get. History of Lomography started in Vienna, Austria or somewhere in Europe. Like a group of art students found this vintage Lomo camera. It's a Russian camera and apparently it was like made out all of like plastic and then they started shooting film and when they got the film developed they were amazed by how different the quality and of the photos and that was when i guess they decided to start this brand because by then that camera was already discontinued and they and the photos that came out of the Lomo Russian camera look very artistic but because you're shooting with film you kind of don't know what your film looks like until it gets developed so that was kind of like the fun with film and I guess that still is true today so they've decided to like build this company and recreate vintage um, cameras that have been discontinued so one of those cameras is, uh, is the Diana this is the Diana mini this is the 35 millimeter camera and this is the Diana F plus that they recreated from like a 1960s um, model so yeah so that's how they started so I guess I got curious and I spent most of my days <laughs> scrolling through Gumtree and Facebook Marketplace just to see if there are good deals. So the first camera I got is the Lomography La Sardina camera. So this, this is the camera first camera that I got well this flash actually connects to this camera not the black one um, I got this with Gumtree for $30 well this combo for $30 and it came with the flash it came with filters for the flash I decided to try this however this one's broken I think I broke it <laughs> like the shutter doesn't work like it would you would normally hear hear the camera go tick, tick, like that like this one well this one doesn't have film but yeah it doesn't work like I've loaded three rolls of 35 millimeter film in this and it just doesn't work <laughs> so this one's broken and that's why I got this new one this is I actually bought this one the black one brand new this is the La Sardina eight ball design and I decided to buy this because it was the only one available without the flash in one of the local camera stores in Perth the next camera that I got is the Diana mini um, 35 millimeter version of the medium format film camera called the Diana the Diana camera came out in the 60s and 70s and it was like discontinued and it was made in like Hong Kong and people discovered this and it was like a big hype in like the film photography world and I just wanted to try it for myself. I got this second hand and it came with a book and a user's manual for 30 bucks. So that was a pretty good deal in my opinion. Next camera that I have here, this is the Lomography. This is the Lomography Super Sampler camera and if you can see they, this camera has four lenses. So let me just open this up quickly for you. So when you take a photo, it comes out with four mini photos. I got this one off eBay I think and this is a very very interesting camera I haven't used it yet but I will for sure upload a video of me testing out this camera and man this is so cool like in one photo you get like four sections 
and apparently it's like a each lens so this is like lens number one number two number three number four each lens captures different points in time so this one will come up first and then second and third and fourth so it's, it's quite interesting i haven't used this yet but i am thinking <laughs> that is the film wind forward like the adva film advance and it's that, that is so interesting um i am thinking of getting another four lens camera called the action sampler and i'm thinking of testing them out like side by side into one video so stay tuned for that next camera we have here is the lamography sprocket rocket i got this one brand new um as a gift to myself for working so hard i got it on ebay and this camera is a very interesting camera because it's as you can see it's very long i'm not gonna open up for you because i have film inside here i have yet to test this i'll be uploading a video of me testing this out and what the photos will look like but this camera is a panoramic camera so i can't, I can't open to show you guys but it takes double the amount of film so if you if you have a 36 exposure film it will you will probably only have 17 to 18 photos because it takes twice the amount of film and it takes panoramic shots and it's called the sprocket rocket because you know you know like the 35 millimeter film has this like little like squares at the top and the bottom those holes are called sprocket holes so this camera allows you to take panoramic photos with those sprocket holes so that's like really cool and artistic in my opinion and i'm really excited to take panoramic shots with this next one we are going to talk about is the diana f plus camera this was one of the first cameras that i found on facebook marketplace and man this looks so pretty i don't know why but the combination of the black and the teal and this flash is so cute oh, it's just... oh, battery still in here flash is starting up can you hear that <laughs> anyway there's no film in here i got the second hand um it's a medium format film so it takes a 120 film it's like a roll it takes either 12 shots 12 square shots or 16 rectangular shots i haven't tested this out yet because um when i picked this up i was in a hurry to go to work i picked it up before work and i didn't check which was really dumb of me i didn't check if it came with the uh, take up spool so how this camera works is you load your film onto this side and then pull it over to the other side but then you'd have to have a take up spool to do that and i didn't check if this one had anyway it was it was cheap so i'm just i have ordered a i have ordered a take up spool as well as a lens cap um, for this camera on ebay so I'm gonna be testing this out in a video. And the awesome thing about this camera, aside from how pretty it looks, is that um, you can actually switch out the lens. So this is like the pinhole function. And then there are other lenses that you can buy that go with this camera. Next camera we are going to be talking about is the film photography world cult favorite. And this is the Holga. This is made in Hong Kong. I got mine secondhand for $25, including the camera itself. It even came with some film and some AA batteries for the flash. It came with three sets of filters, so $25 is not too bad. It even came with a 35 millimeter back because this is a medium format film so it uses a different kind of film than the one with the sprocket holes so if i want to use the sprocket hole film <laughs> i will have to change the back of this one so um 
I have loaded some film into this as you can see here it's like the number one so I haven't used this yet but I am hoping to try it out in a video I'm excited for this because it's a medium format film camera so it takes pictures in squares and rectangles 12 and 16 respectively and it's similar to the Diana F but there's a lot of rave about this camera like I want to see for myself and capture memories on this and as you can see I have put like lots of tape around it because this camera is notoriously known for the back falling off like seriously when I got this camera I was just like playing with it and I didn't even check if there was any film in there but um, there was some film in there surprisingly and I kind of just took a photo and then tried to wind it forward but then the back fell off uh, and then if that happens it exposes your film and and because it's a 120 film roll the, the roll just all unraveled and all your film is exposed which is sad so I made sure to like secure mine with a lot of tape and apparently according to my research most people do that and those my friends are all the toy cameras that I have accumulated over the past two months if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more travel vlogs around Australia especially during our road trip and I am also going to be uploading the test films or the test pictures that I took with these cameras. Thank you so much and I shall see you next time.